First and foremost, welcome to the content collection, content creation, and social media posting workshop. A um, little disclaimer, as I always like to say, because we've got some new faces here today. Um, basically, whatever we do in these Zooms and these weekly seminars, again, guys, I always recommend penciling this time in your calendar out and attend these weekly. Like these are an extra bonus to the consulting service that all of you guys are receiving. You get to bounce off each other, <clears throat> be surrounded by people that are on the, the same journeys, like-minded individuals. Um, so always here, be, be, uh, be here uh, or be square. As always, like I said, um, always run things by me. All right, today, this is gonna to apply to everyone. So everyone has free reign to implement this stuff whenever you want. But if we're doing other stuff, again, the disclaimer that I always say is like, always run things by me. There's a lot of stuff that we may discuss might be a little bit advanced for some people <clears throat> and you might not need to <clears throat> pour your energy into it yet. It's all about timing and that's why you work one-on-one -on -one with me. So that's it. Um, let's get stuck in. Uh, two halves to this. First and foremost, I'm gonna go through a few case studies. I'm gonna show you some little bits about how to collect content and why most people fail and struggle. Um, and then I've got a list of tips. There's no order to it. It's all, it's all gonna be just, just given, thrown at you. And you can make of it what you want, uh, but I'll, I'll try and keep some sort of structure. So first and foremost, this is for both face-to-face -face and online trainers, right? Social media, obviously for online trainers is gonna be the main form of brand awareness. It's not a marketing strategy, right? A lot of people, a lot of coaches out there uh, that don't have the extensive marketing strategies that we do, uh, they will use social media as a marketing strategy. Well, the thing is on social media, unless you're gonna slide into people's DMs and piss people off, right? Because that's all it does, as we all know. All it is is brand awareness because you're waiting for people to come to you. Now, if you do post the right content, they will come. And that's what today the goal is to do. All right. So Nath, good to have you with us, bro. Matt and Jack as well. So this is most of, mostly important for online trainers, but also face-to-face -face trainers. The reason why is that you guys that are in gyms, when your marketing dries up, you're going to then obviously need other, other methods of brand awareness and marketing, right? And one of them is going to be social media. Obviously, we focus humongously on Facebook here. Um, for those of you who are new, because we have got new faces, welcome, Matt. Welcome, Sue. Welcome, Kel. Um, social media, Facebook, we, we focus on that because it's four times the audience of any other, of any other platform, second in line being Instagram. But what I recommend doing is whatever we do today, put on Facebook and Insta. Same content, different platforms. Doesn't matter. All right. But it's really important for you face to face, guys, because when your leads dry up in the gym, you're going to need another method. Right. You're going to need a method of another method of lead gen. <clears throat> There's a reason why. So Sherry at the moment, sort of beginning stages of our journey. And other guys that are starting to do this as well. Right. Um, so Seb as well. Not too long. We're still in the process. Right. You need to do this now for a reason. You cannot fast track success online. If anybody tells you they can do it for you, they are lying. It's rubbish. It's the most toxic environment at the moment at the moment that has ever been the fitness industry online, especially when you're trying to gain clientele. And again, if you're even attempting to message people, you've got to be very, very careful. So the, the moral of the story here is your content and what we're posting is going to be paramountly important to having people come to you. All right. And we're going to talk about that soon. So it's for face to face and online guys. This stuff for me, guys, is it's absolutely mandatory. So point number two, if you're not doing this, you, you are lacking. And I think, uh, Matt, great to have you with us, bro, at the bottom there. Matt, I'm going to use what, what you did recently, brother, because I gave you some, pro, uh, some um, props on that post that you did. Um, I'll give Matt this use, this, use this example here already. Matt didn't post as much as what he knew he wanted to be doing. And I think a lot of you guys, sometimes you know you need to be doing more. But when he did, bang, straight away. So it's a case of like, it, it's mandatory. And you've got to be the two Ps, I say to multiple people all the time, persistent and, con oh, you've got to be persistent and consistent, one P and one C. Persistency and consistency. You have to be consistent. This stuff is mandatory. And without this, long term, you're going to struggle. I, I, I can't really be more blunt than that. You will struggle. If you're online and you're not doing this stuff, you're screwed straight from the offset. But if face-to-face -face businesses are not utilizing online platforms the correct way with the correct content, which you're collecting the correct way, 
got that one out all right um then you know you're going to be screwed you need a form of leads coming in online or exposing your brand which will eventuate to leads coming in online all right um <clears throat> so this is also for face to face guys if you've got even a thousand two thousand three thousand members and a lot of you guys welcome tay welcome tane um, you guys that have a lot of a lot of members in your gym two three four five thousand members Facebook and social media, it's actually broader, a lot broader audience than that. So you guys with those luxury numbers in gyms, we grow your businesses quickly to six figures and beyond, like most of you where you're at. But social media is uncapped leads. I always say this, clients will come and go, but leads are endless, right? And especially online, because you're never going to get in front of all the people in the world. It's that simple. Um, so that's that. Basically, huge scale compared to gyms. Um, this process, guys, that we're going to delve into today, <clears throat> it's often very complicated or, or overcomplicated. Sorry. People overcomplicate this process. Hands up, Pia, show of hands. If you, if you sit sometimes like this and you look into thin air and you think about what you should be posting and spend time thinking about what to do right everyone's been there i like i, I don't care who you are like, it's one of them and you're thinking shall i post a, a recipe or shall i take my shirt off or uh, right <laughs> do, do you know like so many people right i wouldn't be taking mine off anyway um look it's so many people wonder what to post i'm telling you guys it's over complicated all right the, the simple thing is just comes down to doing it. The, the content we're going to get into here, what you should be posting, a lot of you can already guess what I'm going to be talking about, right? And everybody has the ability here on this call, everybody has the ability to collect it. It comes down to doing it. So we're going to delve deeper into what the resistance is around collecting social proof, all right, which is the main content that we want to be posting. And it just comes to being do it, to, it just comes down to doing it. Most people, guys, are just lazy doing it. And I can't put it down to anything else. So social proof is the best content to post, but we're going to combine that with some other things. And I've got, like I said, two halves here. The second half is just a long list of tips. And one of those tips is some other content that you can post. But straight to the point, guys, what's the best content to post? It's social proof. And everyone here should know that if you've gone through social media training inside the portal, right? You should know that, right? And if you haven't, you're going to see it soon because there's some newbies here with us. So you've got to collect it. Now, when it comes down to, to collecting social proof, because I know there's a ton of people on here, right, that would admit they don't collect enough and they don't post enough. Does anyone want to be brave? And even someone that does post it a lot, right, come off mute and give the guys a bit of an idea of like when you started to collect it. Does anyone want to be vulnerable and, and, and talk about why they struggle to collect content, social proof, and how you've kind of maybe even overcome that and now you're doing it. Most people here aren't doing it enough. I can tell you that right now. But anyone, come off mute. Naif. I collect um, a lot of social proof, but I, um, like I've got a lot of screenshots in there. I've probably got 30 that are good to go and I just haven't posted them. So that would be objectively my issue of like, you know, um, just yeah, being consistent with my posting of social proof. But I, uh, since working with you, any time that I get a bit of positive feedback, I will screenshot it and and I'll have it sitting there. But I just haven't posted it. Yeah, that's a great point. So first and foremost, multiple types of social proof. This is all in the portal. But if you want to list it down, go for it. Number one for PTs, the best content you can get is two before and after photos. All right, and video testimonials of your clients. Yeah, they're the top two. There's lots of other types of social proof, though. And this is the stuff we're going to talk about here. And again, it comes down to just laziness or not being switched on enough, which I'm going to delve in deeper to shortly, that you should be always thinking about how to benefit the reach of your business. And if you're I have not a, thinking a question about that, with the yeah. video testimonials. So, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, go on. Um, so it would be easier for you to get them because like we're all very switched on um, people where 
you know, generally trained to talk in front of the camera. A lot of our clients are probably a little bit more um, timid, a little bit, yeah, yeah. you know, introverted, and it's hard for them to do video testimonials. So uh, do you have any kind of tips on how to do that? Because I, yeah. I, I can always get reviews, but, you know, they're probably not as good as a video testimonial. Of course I can. This is exactly how you do it, right? I'm going to put my arm around my computer. Okay. Dan, what an awesome session today. Brother, let's talk about this for a second. What have we just done in the gym today, Dan? Okay, we smashed back and buys. Dan, I remember six months ago when you started with me. What did you weigh? Right. I think it was, yeah, like 101. Where are we at now? You've lost 15 kilos, guys. This is Dan. Love training with this guy. He's an absolute legend, right? Blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. That's all you do. I'm t that right there is something that you can take lead with, right? Remember this, guys. It comes across quite forward. It's not forward. You've got to remember your clients should love you. If they don't, then you've got a problem, right? So you, 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 sh you should be close enough to, to trust your clients that's all you do. So for the, the thing is, right, with all you guys, and I've got, I got testimonials of, of a good few of you guys, right? I don't ever get given testimonials without asking. Never. So you're, number one, you're never going to get them without asking. You're going to have to ask for them. But then you are right, Dan. And this is a good point where basically, you know, these guys, they're going to be a lot more introverted. And you're talking about their physique, right? It's quite personal, especially if people like you've been talking numbers and, you know, what I said there, how heavy were you 100 kilos? Maybe you shouldn't say that, right? But again, it's one of those things where the thing is people, when, achieved their, when they've achieved their goals, they will secretly, even if they tell you they don't, they will want to scream from the highest fucking mountain that they have lost all that weight with you. They will. They'll be happy to share it. What you've got to do is know your client well and, 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 and subtract, retract all that information from them, right? That's what you've got to do. And I find the best way to do that is to just literally put your, put your camera on, surprise them, at the end of a session and it's raw as well and they'll they'll laugh they'll be like oh my god i'm so sweaty and it's like this is what it's all about guys we just finished the best session here at plus fitness this is my amazing client who has lost a whopping 25 kilos you can see it it's pouring out of her right now in a sweat right you have a, whatever you want to talk about right make it fun you don't, you don't ask permission you just you just help, feel. look well there's a point that i'm going to get to about that right permission like you don't need to ask for permission to do a little throwaway video like that. And what, what you don't do is go live with it. Just record it okay. and then take it away. And if you like it, go for it. Cool. And, and I think what it comes down to as well, guys, authority professionally and politely, right? I always say those two P's professionally, politely. You've got to, you've got to have that. Most people expect, and they, they kind of, jump to conclusion that people don't want to share their personal journeys. People will expect that. And that's, a re that's a half the reason around procrastination, around collecting social proof and content, because, oh, yeah, my, my clients told me they don't want to do it. Well, that probably comes down to how it's been pitched or how it's been worded and communicated. Uh, um, can we do this? Would you like to do this? Close questions, yes or no. They're not going to result in a, in a good answer. If you give someone the chance to say no, they will say no, yeah, and, and at, at best, they might say, yeah, you can do it, but just put an emoji over my face. Do you know what I mean? I don't care, like, Dan, we were speaking about this. If anyone's gone through my content on the portal, you should notice a very big change in my face, right? I've lost a shit ton of weight over the last two years. It was 20, 25 kilos, or for you US guys, about 55 pounds, and... I didn't give a shit. I would, I would take my shirt off, right, and, go, and do all that crap I'd never do and let my coach take that and show it to the world. Why? Because it benefits his business. Not because of me. It's because it's going to benefit him. And that, but that's different. I mean, you, I don't expect your clients to want to be like that to support your business as much as what I want to support yours, right, and you guys to me when you're kind enough to give me my testimony. So, you know, hopefully that helps, Dan, and that's how you, you should just take the lead with it. Nath, you were going to say something, brother. Oh, I was just going to say how I <clears throat> used to, yeah, really struggle with social proof. Yeah. Um, if you can hear noise yeah. in the background, I'm currently got the kids here. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was just the confidence of doing it. It's just really shy in being able to do 
that but now it's just an automatic thing as soon as i get someone uh again it's just a habit i build up as soon as i get a client saying oh look we're checking at the gym oh look i've lost three four five kilos screenshot i will crop the image there and as your magic uh trick you show me just yeah uh, yeah yeah why do the right yeah 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 yeah. and then post it straight onto my stories and then as i've done that i'll give it like maybe seven or eight once i have seven or eight screenshots i will use that and just put it up as a post on facebook or instagram so not only is it in stories but then i'll write a post about oh look at my check-ins oh look at all these people have lost weight yada 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 it's just become a habit instead of being shy about it but oh no people want to see these results i will blur out the names so i don't have anyone saying oh i don't want to show my images and whatnot but it's worked a treat since doing that 100 percent, brother 100 percent. and and again what what nathan is there guys is a prime example of taking the action with it right that's all it is so types of social proof like i was saying before it's all in the portal but before and afters right and video testimonials the video testimonials can be done with you they'll feel comfortable when you take the lead because a lot of people i'd say jesus some of the times when i'm recording content i'm here going Fuck, i lose my shit it takes me 100 takes right people will not be able to do it so they'll be sitting here and then they'll 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 just, they'll just throw it away. They won't do it. So you taking the lead with it and doing it off the cuff, one take is the best way to do the video testimonials in my eyes. Or you can set up a tripod and you can do it in the gym with a nice background and you can do it more professional. What's up, guys? It's Simon here from SRF Fitness. We're going to walk through a, f- a few things with my amazing client here, Tane, right? And you're going to go through Tane's journey. Just say, how did you feel at the start? Where were you? You know, how did you feel? Where are we now? What's the biggest improvement? And would you recommend working with, with, with Tane, right? And, and that, that's what it is now. From there, we've got other types of social proof, right? Screenshots of messages between your clients. Screenshots of your trainer eyes or whatever application you're using where you see a humongous drop of weight. That's still social proof, all right? It's still social proof. Reviews. People leave reviews on a business page. You can screenshot that and you can post that. There's, there's many different ways of which you can do um, you, you, your social proof. And the main thing, guys, is what I've got to say here is most people are just lazy or there is, there is resistance and hesitancy to collecting it. So there's, there's a nerve barrier there that we've got to, we've got to get over those nerves of, of getting it. And it, it's just, it's like, it's Nike. You just got to do it. You just do it. I'm telling you, it's, it's one of them. So you just have to do it. And if, if you aren't, if you aren't, even thinking about collecting it, which is there anyone here that struggles to remember to collect it? Or are most of you thinking I legitimately just have that fear of like collecting it? Cause that's f- perfectly normal. Does anyone forget to legitimately forget it? How do you get your trainers to do it? Cause I had comment, I had told one of my clients, my trainer to start posting yeah, yeah. and he posted DM me for programs. And I was like, no, that's, yeah. It's so a great question, that? Tay. It's, so here's the thing. So Tay's got a leverage business. She's got staff, right? So she has a trainer working for her. Um, between obviously me and you, Tay, your trainer is probably not the best in, in collecting it because of his nature as a human being, which is fine. But we work on that as we continue to upskill him. The, the best thing, guys, is to have you you going into the gym so this is for people with staff here because there are people with staff you going in and collecting it with the trainer with the client all of you guys the power of the subconscious mind like you you always got to remember how powerful it is people if you go in you've got you plus your trainer and then the client right all three of you guys like the subconsciously people will pick up that that's simon that Simon staff member who, who's they're obviously helping a lot of people. And then there is the proof of the client. So think about it. I'd go in there Tay, and do it with, with yourself. What that shows as well is that you still want to be hands-on. You still want to go into the business. You want to be around the clients and you should want to, I think it's one of the, one of the most common questions people have when leveraging the business is like, I actually want to still be a PT. Like I love my clients and I don't want to stop being, you know, doing personal training. So this is a way that you can get amongst it, get in the mix. If you can see your client's calendars, which you should be able to, or your staff's calendars, which you should be able to do, and you can see they're back to back with six or seven sessions. And you've got like marketing, 
right? Blocked out in your calendar, go into the gym, go in there, train with them, like do whatever you want to do. All right. And it's not to like look over them and make sure they're doing their job. Just be part of the sesh and do your own training. But at the end of each session, like go and speak to them, have a bit of a chat. Like this sort of stuff when leveraging a business is crucial because you don't just leave your staff. You leave your staff in the dark or you're leaving them on up to their own accord and they, your staff love you plus your clients love you. You know, you still be there with them. So I, in that case, Tay, I would go and do it with them. And then it's, it's one of these things where everyone who's done stage 10 will know tell, show, watch, go process. The tell, show, watch, go process is you tell someone what to do. You show them repetitively until they can fully understand it. And then you watch them a million times if you need to until they can do it as you showed them to do all right and then they can go and do it so yeah. tell show watch go like nurture them and then eventually they'll be the one being like what's up guys it's natalie from srf fitness or right and then natalie will be the one yeah so i have like a bit of an agenda for our team meeting tomorrow and one of my things that i want him to do is post once on our like once a week on our facebook group yeah. um and, and just like to try and start getting you know that as well as like some feedback from management at the gym which is that he's not like a very loud yeah. presence. they want him to be a bit louder and like if they want him to run classes they're like he needs to be more in your face yeah so, yeah well, I, I think um agenda it, is going to be about tomorrow you look you're, you're dead right I look I think start small with the content so it, it can be anything really like even if it's tips and and stuff like that in your vip group right <clears throat> the one thing i would always be weary of is expecting a lot from your staff as you as you would do yourself that's the one thing i'd be weary of like i screwed up with my early management days years ago by expecting my trainers to do as i did right they're more likely to do as you do rather than do as you say when you tell someone to do something that's it's not nice right? it's not the best management tactic anyway but start small like you wouldn't go like all right we need to go and get a video testimonial once a week right because he wouldn't know do you know what i mean he wouldn't even know how to you know turn the camera on let alone go and collect it right you know so theoretically speaking so don't expect too much you can do, you can do anything like it could just be a tip and i think this is one thing as well right bonus point here guys when anybody whether it's a staff member or you when you first post your piece of social proof and matt ilias matt's here today we're going to look at his profile in a second when you post and you get 40 or 50 likes your confidence goes through the roof and your trainers will as well so when they do it or when you do it the first time right? Because there's always resistance, but every one of you knows where there's massive resistance, there's humongous reward. There's, there's no point doing anything that doesn't make you scared. It's very, very hard to operate like that. But if something makes you scared, it's the right thing to do, as long as it's not jumping off a cliff, right? Because you know, you're going to die. So like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So <clears throat> look, anything in business, if it doesn't scare you, don't don't bother doing it. If there's resistance, there's reward. And, um, you know, Matt, time time is valuable to him. He's like me. He's got kids, busy guy, fully booked personal trainer near enough. Time is of the essence, yeah? So these little things get put to the back of the line, Matt, right? The social media, they don't get prioritized, which, like I said at the start, they are essential. They're, they're near mandatory. <clears throat> it doesn't take very long. Like before, I, when I was getting prepped for this, I just did a post in the VIP group saying live in 45, just do it, put the photo together, bang, do it. Just post it. Just gives people that, you know, maybe need that little jog of the memory that we're here today getting it done to come and to tune in. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, hopefully that helps. Any other little pointers on, on this while we're sort of... Yeah. Out? Simon, what about... So when I was posting a fair bit of social proof, I noticed that like the interactions and that sort of stuff would start to drop off. Do you worry about that or are you just more about consistently posting no matter what? The sort say, of say that again, bro, about interactions dropping off. When I was posting more consistent social proof and like before and afters and all that sort of thing, after a while, I think I posted like four or five within a two <clears> or three <throat> week period. And then after a while, the like likes and comments and interactions and stuff really started to like drop. Yeah. Would you worry about that or would you just worry about being more just consistently post? 
anyway. Great question. It's a great point. First and foremost, don't ever give a shit about what anyone thinks about you and don't ever, don't ever look into likes, comments, views, interactions and shares. Worst thing you can ever do. <clears throat> it's actually dangerous for one's mental health if, if, if you do, because it's not a game. It's not about likes. I'll be honest, guys. All the likes that I get on my post between 30 and 80, it's mostly you guys. It's no one else. But there is something called the secret following, right? Or the, sorry, the invisible audience, right? Anyone know the concept of the invisible audience? We're going to talk about it. Put your hand up if you know what that concept is. If you don't, you're in for a fucking treat because it's mind blowing. It's good. So we're going to get into that because it's a note of mine here, Tane. Be persistent, brother. Do it. But here's the thing as well. It's another tip I'm going to get to, but I'll say it now because the timing's good. Don't use all your social proof in one hit. It's like I see a lot of people doing this. It's like they don't post very much, but then they'll post seven screenshots. Make it about one. Make it easily absorbable by your audience, right? That's what you've got to do. Don't use it all at once. Keep your powerful stuff. Like, Tana, you're, you get dope interactions, bro. Like, you get really good ones. <clears throat> Always a ton. Um, but here's the thing. that We're going to talk about the, uh, the, the invisible audience, right? We're, we're going to talk about them because it's important, but we'll, we'll elaborate that soon, right? What we're going to do now is roll through, because I'm conscious of the time today, I have to be. Um, I'm going to just get up some profiles <clears throat> and have a little look. Uh, Matt, are you happy for me to show the post that you did, bro? Yeah, mate, all good. Okay, no worries. So we're going to look at Matt first. Um, so, Matt, just while I'm getting this up, just tell the guys a couple of, uh, couple of words like about you and your posting habit. Are you consistent? Do you post enough? Was there resistance? Where? What's your situation, brother? Yeah, well, with that, um, you're definitely inconsistent. Um, so I sort of would like to be posting a couple of times a week, but uh, find myself probably more a couple of times a month. Um, and it's sort of the story that plays out. It's something I'm working on is, is when, you know, obviously I've got the newborn and, and four-year-old and then uni on top of that so um when things get too overwhelming um, i tend to just shut off for a bit um yeah. and so and that includes the social media aspect and it includes checking in with you um and then i just focus on what all i need to do to keep the business running but um that's sort of just a story that's playing out in my head and just need to, to work on that a little bit but um i think um i'm happy with the content I, I produce it could be better i don't necessarily like putting myself out there that much but yeah. um i know i have to yeah. um so i yeah. tend to tend to avoid too many photos and videos of myself but that's something that i'll um start introducing more because when you look back at my feeds and stuff it, it's it's the stuff that's got you know where, where you're in the photo or or whatever that, that tended to draw a better audience and interaction yeah um so yeah, that's that's where. Awesome, brother. No, I, I love it. So yeah. we, we're going to take a look here <clears throat> at Matt's profile. Can everyone see my screen? Thumbs up. Nathan, I can see you. Nathan, you see the screen? Yeah, you're good. Okay. So we're going to have a look here. So basically, that cover photo is dope, first and foremost. Perfect. We're, we're not going to talk about today how to optimize social media. That's all training. But if you want a cover photo that speaks volume, that is powerful because it shows energy. It shows vibe. It shows likability, right? It's amazing. So it's perfect quality profile photo as well, right? Obviously, then we've got, um, we've then got a little bit of a bio and everything else. But what we're going to talk about here is this post here. So obviously, I'm always going to remind people to post, right? And when Matt did, I mean, the, the interactions here, that they, they speak for themselves. I think there's a 56 and six other comments. So you might set 60, 7, oh, 60, 60 comments and, 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 and likes, 60 interactions. So this is volume. Now, if you look at this, just, just energy in a photo. And this is actually, if you read this, end of an era today, as I say farewell to a client, I don't see this happen very often, right? There's only one person I can, I can think of that has actually done anything about a farewell with a client, and it's me. You know, I, I, did, a, I did a video with a, a guy, funnily enough, his name was Matt too, Matt Izzard. 
And he hit six figures in, out, paid his contract off. See you later. And, and, and I, I did a video with him about it. And I basically said, we open people with open arms. And when they're finished, we let them go with open arms. Because it's all about this relationship on this screen. Look at this guy. You ever seen a little happier man than that? Like, look at it. It's awesome. So at the end of the day, this here was a post that we put up, right? So you get the 60 interactions, little training spits and stuff like this. Anything like this, guys, I can guarantee you an audience will be, and this isn't like having a pop at the content, but look at the interactions, right? It's about 15% of what the other one wants, right? Anything like this, training splits and educational posts, you're not going to get the traction with it. People don't care about it. Notice how I said what to post before, before and after this video, screenshots of results, testimonials, testimonials pretty much, right? This stuff is great for content, but it's never going to get you the most <clears throat> interactions. This here, screenshots of, uh, of a message, all right? Again, not bad. A few more interactions on this one, but again, lower. Let's go down. Your family stuff's always going to get good interactions, right? It's always going to get a lot more. We're going to talk about that shortly as well. Testimonial here, okay? This is good. This looks really, really good. However, there's something that I will say, and it's this. People don't like reading essays. So image is everything, guys. So if you had to prioritize um, a, a screenshot of a, of a message like that versus something like that, or something like that, this is what you're looking for. So I was going to save this for later, but again, I'll talk about it now. The best social proof you can get, even if you don't have results from a client, is a photo of you with your client, with your hand around them, or doing a flex pose. How many people have I told this to before? Like show of hands, like I'm sure I've told you guys to, to go and collect this sort of, this sort of social proof, right? Just get your client, put your hand around them and do a lovely post about this guy, right? About the client. Look at the energy here. What that does, it communicates to the subconscious on a whole different level about this is a guy I want to train with myself. This looks like this guy here, even though he's leaving, he doesn't want to leave him. Look, he doesn't want to let go of him, right? Do you know what I mean? So it's that simple, okay? So that's right there is about posting the best social proof. You can see um, your content here as well. It looks awesome. Again, great testimonial, good likes. Matt's content here is genuinely quite good. The persistency and consistency of it, yeah? Persistency and consistency of it is the one thing that could improve, like Matt said. So well done, Matt, for some good posts. Well done. So there's that one. Now, Matt, that one that he posted there recently came off the bat of not having posted one like that in a while, and he got 5x, like his interaction straight away. Um, so... What have we got here? <clears throat> We're going to go to another client. Now, this here is something that's also really important to talk about. Um, I've got a great client of mine. Um, uh, where he is? There he is. Great client of mine in the UK. <clears throat> Let's share my screen. And good old Michael. He's a beast. Beast of a client of mine in the UK. This guy does really, really, really well, right? Really, really, really well. Elite trainer, great clients, great size business, right? No one will ever see this guy because he's, he's asleep right now, right? So feel free to take photos as well if you want. Um, so with that being said, look, this guy, he like, let me scroll past a little bit here. This guy here, <laughs> this is a prime example, right? He used to post stuff like this. He is very much like me, blunt, raw, doesn't give a shit, tells people no fluff, straight to the point, right? Motivational stuff, few likes, one of which is mine, of course. Let's go up here. This is the one here where I pulled him up on this, right? So your circumstances, your health, your relationships is ultimately uh, your life is merely a byproduct of whatever you're willing to tolerate. Um, when you're back against the wall or other shit hits the fan. You can see it's very blunt, right? The, yeah, he, you can tell there's a lot of emotion in this, right? No one likes it, right? Again, the, the purpose of this workshop here, guys, is for you to boost your interactions and post the right amount or the right content that will get the, 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 the good amount of interactions, right? I pulled him up on this because Michael has, has been going through a patch recently and Michael will probably be watching this recording and he won't mind me saying where we, we had a couple of testing times recently and some learning curves. Everyone's always going to learn, right? 
I spoke to him about it and I said, Mike, we need to start posting more empathetical content. Here's the thing, right? And I want to actually see all of you guys for this. You can be blunt like me, but people don't like that. Like I said, the people that know me, love me and trust me, which is you guys here, and I love you too. I hope you love me anyway. Um, basically, you know what I'm like. So I can be the way I am. And you know that there's no bullshit. If any single person out there from the outside looking in came and became a part of this community and the broader community of what we have here at Pinnacle Fitness Consulting, they would also too love me because they know that this guy's not an arrogant wanker. He's no fluff to the point. And I think, is that what everyone here wants? Please show me hands. <laughs> if you don't, otherwise I'll stop. But do you know what I mean? You don't want anything else. You want straight to the point. However, when you're trying to build rapport online, it doesn't necessarily work. So I said to him, you've got to post more empathetical stuff. Next post we did, kaboom, 181 likes, five comments. So nearly 190 interactions. I said, Michael, and this is all of what I told him. It's not him doing this, it's us as a team. Post stuff that people can relate to. So like I said before, there is other stuff that you can put into your content, which will boost your algorithm performance. Who, who here loves their family, right? Fuck me. I mean, we all, you all love your family. Show that shit. He went from, I mean, this one here is obviously, oh, what's that? Oh, he's uh, finding another trainer because he needs another one, which is good. Growth in business is growing well. Nothing versus 181, right? I said, Michael, let's keep going with that. Here we go. What are you doing, Arch? Crazy, man. All right, so sometimes we might feel like we're, we're not moving as quickly as we'd like to. A little bit more empathetical, this post. You can see the difference in language straight away, right? But let me remind you of this. You are miles ahead of all the folks who sit on the couch complaining all day long about their circumstance. Okay, that's a bit blunt, but still, that's fine. 30. Big improvement, right? Maybe it's because he looks like Anthony Joshua and he's an absolute beast. But anyway, 30, a ton of interaction compared to two posts ago where he's getting nothing by being too blunt, right? Too blunt. Everything, guys, will come down to level of the level of which people can relate to. You've got to post relatability, the relatable content. Does that make sense? I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah, Simon. go. Ahead. What, uh, what is too blunt, I guess? Tell them tell like, that when you did Because I, 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 I had posted today about um, a client that literally she will be here at like 5 a.m. She does not care what time she has to wake up at. And she like gets it done. She works her butt off. And I, and I put that out there. But I said, like, if you want to reach your goals, like... I did say, get off your ass and do something about it. Is yeah. that too much? <laughs> uh, Is that like? I'm just trying to find your post, but I'll I'll leave it. There's no story. So basically, <laughs> there's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, and this is the thing, guys, as well, right? A lot of your audience, when you become blunt, they'll look at it as you're frustrated at something. They will. That's what they'll look at it like. They'll think you're frustrated. Now, obviously, I know what we're going through at the moment. It's, it's, we're, in a good, we're in a good place. But you're not saying that because you're frustrated. But people will look at that, yeah. right? And you've got to think. You're right when you say it, right? Like I said to you guys, you're just not fucking collecting the content. And that's yeah. the truth. You can't, you can't deny it. I know it's the truth. You're being lazy. You're not collecting it. It's that simple. So if you tell people get off your ass and move, they won't interact with that because they know you're right. Again, again, the invisible audience, right? And we're gonna talk about this in a second, right? So that's not too blunt. Be consistent and persistent with what you post. I haven't changed in years. Now, ironically, I get a lot more interactions. Like it's because I ain't changed. I'm not going nowhere. And when I go and see clients, that I uh, see friends. Sorry, when I go see friends, and they always comment on my you know, how is everything going with business, and looks that everyone say oh, it looks like you're doing well. Well, how do they know I'm doing well? Right. Mm -hmm. That's the invisible audience. People see your shit even if they don't like it or comment on it. So we're gonna mm -hmm. talk about that in a minute. But 
be persistent yeah. and consistent with your message be yourself has to shine through don't do something that you that, that, that wouldn't come across natural to you do you know what i mean so mm -hmm. that's fine there's nothing wrong with that tell them this girl gets up there's no crap she gets it done and she's eating healthily ironically she's getting results and just say that we are like here we, we are we're the a team and together we're making this happen that's how you'd finish it on a sweetener so people go like yeah, I, need, I need her i need you in my team do you know what i mean that's yeah. how you would kind of finish that um okay so next thing here i'm going to show you quickly before we get into my tips what persistency and consistency looks like. So I always use Phil. Um, this is somebody who hated social media. Anyone here don't, doesn't like social media or doesn't like posting on social media? Like I know like there's a lot of people that won't. I used to be one of those, I, to, to this day, look, I'll be honest, I don't like social media. I use it because of business. My social media is business, that's it. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys how to do because the whole purpose is to get lead flow, right? This is what persistency and consistency looks like, guys. Need I even scroll any fucking further than this? Right? Is that enough said? This guy, I had to drill Phil. Now, again, for those of you who are new here, Phil started off at $700 a week with me. We're doing $9,000 a week at the moment. 9K weeks. This guy hated social media. Bro, you're never going to get me to do this. I'm telling you, you're never going to get me to do it. All right, challenge accepted. Let's fucking go. Boom. Now what happens? This guy's getting 125 likes on multiple. This, look at this, 39. Look how many of these social posts this guy has got. This guy has got that many of them that he can post 39 in one hit. People will never look at these. So if I'm going to say anything bad about this post, it's that, bro, you don't need to post that much. But to be honest with you, if, you've ca if you can, do it. If I post screenshots of messages, I'll normally post about 12. I know people aren't going to go, oh, look, I'm going to go and go through 39 photos. It's not the point, but the subconscious mind picks up that number, which is 39. There's a shit ton of it. Let's continue going on here. Boom, again, 35. Oh, look ironically there's the content i've told you about before hand around a client pointing at them 138 right look at this guy's list of friends here 3300 it's not astronomical mid-range yeah just continue going look at the variety of content like I, if you look at social media training cherry especially for you when you start to go through this i'm telling you when you see this stuff right in there in, like in the social media training I do a run through of the perfect profile and Phil's one of them. Yeah. Look at this stuff, man. He posts about himself, his own journey, right? 65, 110. The majority of everything he's posting is getting over 100 likes, 150, 70, or 80. Like this guy, I'm telling another 100, 100. Uh, 70 you get the you get the point here guys like again persistency and consistency but here's the thing these photos who's taking them who's getting them done he is right he is doing it one more guy i want to give a little bit of credit to because he's so consistent uh, and you know this guy as well so this guy's online trainer so Matt Burton, everyone's uh, heard about Matt. He's always good when he's on these seminars because he loves to chip in and he loves he loves to uh, speak a lot like I do. But again, this guy, 100. This is a guy, guys. I need to, this is not even, like, let me just point, let me point this out. 40, 70, 30, 30, 20, 30. It's consistent. 60, 30, 40. You get the idea, right? And again, it's not about numbers, but it shows people that are actually liking, right? I don't even need to say much more than this. This guy came to me, he's over doubled his business online. All he has done is followed social media training in the portal. That's it. It's all he's done. But he's been persistent and consistent with the right shit. And that is it.
It is literally that simple. So we've just gone through there. Obviously, Phil, um, whose persistency and consistency gets him hundreds of likes most of the time. Matt Burton, great interactions, persistency and consistency. Um, and then obviously we've looked at Michael um, Kiesi from the UK. Again, when you drop something in, which is not too blunt, what it can get you. And then we've obviously looked at Matt, who's with us today, when he's posted an amazing piece of social proof and got over 50, 60 interactions with that. Any questions on any of that, guys, before we get into these, uh, these tips? We're good. All right, let's go. So these in no particular order, I'm going to try and make light time with this. We've got about 10, 15 minutes more. What to do if you don't have clients, right? What There's not many or anyone here, I don't think, that doesn't have clients, I don't think. So we're all good. If you don't have clients, be relatable and build trust. So relate to what people are going through. Talk about also your journey, your progress, because you've been there, done it, and got the T-shirt. So talk about you. Like Phil, you've seen Phil with before and afters. Document your own journey. Show it off, okay? Always be focused, guys, on how can I improve the exposure of my business. Hands up who's got lead boxes in their business. Few, good, that's great because we've got some good exposure for the rest of you. Lucky you're coming with this shit, yeah? So lead boxes. Uh, this is when we build local business partnerships. We generate uh, lead flow from outside the gym. This strategy works phenomenally well when done correctly, all right? When I go into a restaurant, right, when I was a PT, the first thing that I did, and I'm, guys, this, is, this isn't bragging, it's not. This is just an insight into my head and how my fucking brain works because I'm obsessed and I'm freaking, I go above and beyond to help people. And you guys all know that. When I walk into a restaurant, I'm analyzing foot traffic and whether I can work with that business before I get my fucking pint of beer, which I'm going to have to switch my head off from work, right? That's what I'm doing. That is what you have to be like. Does that make sense? If I'm, I'm being blunt now as hell, but if you want to dominate, when you go into a PT session, you have to be clued on to how can I collect something from this which is going to benefit my business? How can I do that? When I'm Ryan, right? Dan Pardo, Jamie, or Jono as well, Matt, who else have we got? Lockie, you're going to walk into this. Tane, not yet. Michael, when you are in places, think about, can I work with this business, right? These local business partnerships. That's what you think about. You should always be, I'm not telling you to always work, but always be switched onto this. Nathan, all right? When you're going and doing these local business partnerships, telling you, Think of that. You walk in the door, that's what you think about, right? And then execute. You are in a position, here's some so we're going to talk about this just briefly for you guys doing them. You're in a position of power because you're a customer when you go in, right? You're paying them, right? Hey, is the manager here? Yeah. Can I have a word? Oh, is everything okay? You're not going to get me fired? No, you're not. Don't, don't worry. It's okay. Your, your table service is great. But they go and get the manager for you, right? Brother, I want to say that the food here is absolutely amazing. Like, I come here a couple of times. I just wanted to say, like, thank you. Like, it's dope. How's business going? Right? They're going to love that. Conversation rolls on from there. Dan, you get what I'm saying? Yeah? It's powerful. Ryan, Jono, telling you, this is how you do it. It ain't about, like, going in there and going, hello, sir, take this box. Like, it doesn't... Does it. It doesn't work like that, right? You, you, you can't do that. It's Kelly, Sue, you're taking this in as well because this is what we're doing. You go in. When you're out with a family on the weekend, go and speak to them. Take a mutual understanding in the business, right? Anyway, we're not talking about lead boxes today, but same thing about social proof. When you go into a session, when you're with clients, when you're anywhere, think about what you can do, which is going to benefit your business. Be switched onto it. It's, it's not excusable to forget. Think about it like that. If you're forgetting, that's fine. It's on you. Set reminders in your calendar or something. But you got to switch on to collecting it. You have to. I'm doing it 24-7, guys. That's all I'm doing all the time. Soon as someone gets a, hits an achievement, brother, sister, can you do me a testimonial video? 
act, and this is another big tip, when you're collecting social proof, act and strike while the iron is hot, right? When people have jumped on the scales and seen they've just achieved the 15 kilo weight loss. What's up, everyone? Look at what's just happened here. But that's when you do it right now because they are going to be more susceptible to doing it then because they're freaking ecstatic. They're pumped. So pounce on it. All right. And it's not like, oh my God, should we go frantically? I need to do this right now. Just do it casual. It's casually. You always handle everything casually. Um, do you need to ask then clients for their approval to post? <clears throat> you, it'll become as big a deal as you make it. Because a lot of people think about, oh, are they gonna, are they gonna like me posting this stuff? Just do it and just say, look, I, I just preframe, Charmaine, you've got some amazing results. I'm gonna share them. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, they, then okay. Well, it's a closed question, so maybe not like that. But you know what I mean? They're probably going to say, yeah, well, I've got some amazing results, whatever. Don't think that people won't allow you to post stuff of them. And if so, chuck an emoji over their face. Phil, Phil's profile we just looked at there is a prime example that people don't really care. They're fucking proud that you're sharing their results because he's got 34 of the freaking things there with girls in bikinis, guys with their shirts off, showing befores and afters because they're freaking proud to share them. Do you know what I mean? No one will ever want to show the start of their journey off. And that's one thing you don't do, guys. Don't, I would never go, here's my client. He's 156 kilos, morbidly obese, type one diabetic. That's, that's, that's shame. That's shaming them, right? Don't do that. But you collect it. If you're not collecting, if you're not collecting it, you're losing out when he loses the 50 kilos. You need to have that before and after. So be switched on always. New client, before photo, measurements, scales, log it, PT session log, that sort of stuff. Trainerize, boxer, make notes, capture the star. How do you feel today? Feel like crap, but I can't wait to get going. 10 weeks later, 10 kilos down, feeling the best I've ever felt. Boom. Circle the dates on it. Look at what's happened in 10 weeks. This guy's backflipped. He's lost 10 kilos. He's half this medication he was taking. This is the shit people want to relate to. Half the world is sick. Half of Australia is sick. All of Australia is sick right now. How many people are sick in Australia right now, right? Relate to it. Relate to what people are going through, right? Relatability in your posts is huge. Um, just collect it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Like I said before. Um, Dan, remind me in a second, I'm going to do this at the end. I'm going to show you the equipment. All right. I'm going to do that in a second because a lot of people want to talk about recording equipment and stuff and what we go through. Um, so here's the thing. I think I spoke to this with Lockie, right? Was it you, bro? When I said, make new negotiables a non-negotiable. Is that what I said, bro? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. I was quite proud of this. I, it came up, I came up off the top of my head. If it's new and you're not doing something, like I said, where there may be resistance, there's reward, right? If it's a new negotiable, jump out of the comfort zone, do it so that it becomes easy and therefore it is a non-negotiable that you do all the time. Just, it, it relates back to just doing it, guys. You've just got to do it. You've got to be clued on to collecting it and just doing it, right? Make a new negotiable task, which is hard because if you haven't been there and done it before, you haven't got the results yet. But you know, because of the resistance, there is reward on the other side. So just do it, get it done, collect it, post it, win it, right? That's all you've got to do. Um, okay, if anything makes you uncomfortable, it's because it's going to make you comfortable in good time. The invisible audience, let's talk about this now. So I talked about this a couple of times here so far, but the invisible audience, like I said, don't ever take into account likes, comments, and interactions, ever. The most important thing I can show you on this, actually. I'll see if you can see the screen. The most important thing is that people are watching it. Like I went to a football, a soccer game last night, the MCG. I saw my team play, caught up with a guy who I used to live with, I used to hang around with and play soccer with in Darwin, right? One of the first things he says, how's business? It looks like you're doing well, bro. And he's like, it's weird seeing you in the content because I actually feel like I'm in one of your videos. That's what he said to me. What does that show? This guy's never liked my posts, bro. Never. He sees them. That's the, that is the, that's the key right there. That is the key. Now, there's one post I had here. Okay, here we go. Can you see how many views there are on there? 
442 views. Yeah. 442 people watched that video. I got 45 likes, 16 comments. Average interaction, cool, that's fine. 400 is 10 times the amount of people that did not interact saw it and watched it, engaged with it with their eyes. That's all that matters. The likes don't matter, but the likes help the, the, likes help the algorithms, right? So the invisible audience, people are always watching you guys, always. So don't ever, don't ever get put off. Don't ever get put off about no interactions. Be persistent and consistent. Don't ever stop. And if you're posting social proof, people are going to see. People are going to see what you are about. And that's, that's all that matters. All right. Uh, what's, we'll go here. So, okay, let people decide. So it rolls into this one. Like, let people choose if they want to like and stuff like that. Again, it comes around to like not being absorbed by the whole, I didn't get very many, inter many interactions and likes. Charmaine, we did a little run through Unipro statistically on your Facebook yesterday, right? Or day before, yep. whatever it was. And we saw that your interaction rate was freaking low. Mm -hmm. So your interaction rate, guys, I have software that um, some of you guys here have got. Tay's got it. I think Jono's got it as well. Unipro tells you how many people are engaged with your content. So if you're thinking, I've got 4,000 friends, why am I getting 10 likes? Well, it's because they're not engaged. And that means that your content, your content's not good enough. It's not engaging them. So if anyone wants to have a little look at their engagement, if you have really put in the work, the dedication into your social media, I can run the same test for you and we can have a look. And it gives you an insight into Unipro, which is what I highly recommend people use. Um, and if you want Unipro, let me know because I'll give you the, the link to sign up. Um, content creation, guys, it doesn't take time. If it does take time, it's because you're overcomplicating it. It's that simple. Like I said right at the start, who sits here and goes, what shall I post? Right? Sh shouldn't do that. You should have social proof. You should be switched on to collecting it. You should be collecting it and you should be posting it. Just do it, right? It's that simple. Make sure your content is easy to consume and read. Like Matt here on our call, that client didn't want to let go of that guy, right? You could tell it. Look at the guy's smile on his face, right? And this is a guy who's leaving. Do you know what I mean? That there speaks a million words, not a thousand words, a million. Ironically, he gets 60 interactions on it, which is great. Okay, Again, for a guy who previously on his testimonials, which are writing, because remember, people don't want to read essays. Remember that. Remember that. They consume that image like that. And I'm telling you, it speaks a million words. Images are power. Images are power. So therefore, guys, you have to take this thing and you have to take photos, take videos, ask for them, be persistent. Do it. Your clients love you guys. Remember that. So they should, they should be happy to share with you. They should be happy to share. Um, what else have we got? Um, and boosting interaction. Here, there's one other thing here. I think Charmaine, we touched on this as well. Don't be afraid to, to boost your interactions because here's the thing. The more likes you get, the more you'll get. And the more you, more you get, the more, more, more you'll get. And that's how you'll get 100, 150, 200, 300. And this is how things go viral, guys. Some, some things that, that just click to the subconscious mind, they might be a funny thing right? Someone slipping off a freaking skateboard or something like that. And it's for some reason, it will just go viral like that. Who knows what it is, but likes attract likes. Don't be afraid to ask close friends and family to show some love. So last night when I was with my good friend, Raza, I said to him, I was like, bro, thanks very much for the, for the, for the, um, for the love, right? Cause he said, your posts are awesome, man. And I take a lot away from, him. I'm like, bro, feel free to drop a like. I guarantee you when I post next, you will like it. I guarantee it. The amount of times I've done this with family and friends, and it's like even my, my family don't like my shit. I thought they were proud of me. <laughs> They're not, right? Well, they are, but anyway, you get what I'm saying. Like my shit, right? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. There's kids here now. I need to watch my language, right? Um, but you get what I'm saying. It, 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 doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if you get likes or not. There's an invisible, invisible audience. They're always seeing it which means the content's doing its work. 
but likes and interactions will attract more. So bear that in mind. That's it. I'm actually impressed with myself. 11.02, we hit it, we're in an hour. Uh, Q&A for five minutes, guys, because there will be questions. Moral of the story is, just get the content, get it. Go and get it. Images of power, no one likes to read essays. Social proof is the best, but combine it with family stuff. And if you're, if you're noticing, for example, like Phil Berg, he'd get like, a, or Michael, for example, 180 likes with a photo of him and his mom. And then some other stuff is like 10. If you're getting like five, right? Five to 10 posts on a business post, but then you're getting 20 or 30 on a family one. The numbers are relative to Michael's, you know, 20 to 180. They're just on a smaller scale. So for you to go and chase those bigger numbers, it's persistency and consistency. And people, guys, here's another one to leave you with this. Sometimes it takes people about 12 to 15 times statistically to notice something before they take note, right? The subconscious mind, last night I was at the MCG, right? I was talking about this with Raza. He's, just, he's a very successful business guy. And I was talking about the power of the subconscious and he's on my level with that. And I was saying, I, I guarantee if you ask every single person in this building tonight, 75,000 people outside, Name a supermarket. I guarantee over 50% would say Coles. Why? Because Coles was plastered all over the MCG. Not Woolies, not Asda, right? Not that you guys don't know Asda, but not uh, Aldi, right? Coles. People wouldn't know why they would say Coles, but it's because their subconscious picked it up. Does that make sense? It's powerful, guys. You've you got to... To be able to master marketing, you have to master the, 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 the art of the subconscious. And that's why you're posting over and over and over and over again. It's going to take 10, 12, 15 times. I, I used to get five to 10 likes, and now it's like 40 to 80 likes. Yeah, it just took three or four years to get there. But I don't care how long it takes because I ain't giving up. I ain't going anywhere. So same thing with you guys. Q&As, questions about anything, guys? There's not one question. We've done very well. So what are we going to do from here? What's the goal now? Someone tell me, come off mute and tell me what you're going to do differently after this workshop. A lot of this workshop, I've reiterated what's in the training. But obviously, we've got some new people. Sherry, have you enjoyed today? Has it been good to take away? Nathan, you have to. It's great, brother, to see that you have to, mate. Well done. That's great. Um, anything, anyone, anyone want to share what you're going to do differently? I'm just going to, um, I've been collating um, social proof, but I'm actually going to, after this, I've got, um, for the rest of the week, there's about 60 sessions left with the trainers, Daz and Josh. I'm actually going to go to the gym selfie, you know, with Daz and Josh and their client and actually get those video testimonials as well. Um, I'm going to get a photo with a client who I'm going to show her before and after, but I'm going to actually have another one with her as well, just to create a little bit more, um, you know, uh, emotion with it and show that we've got a great relationship as well um yeah. so just those are a few little tweaks i'm actually just going to get active with going to the gyms because i've leveraged my my business now so i don't see my clients that much so even if i don't uh, actually get the video this week i'll just show my presence a little bit more and that's what i'm going to do I, I love that, Dan. Thanks for sharing, bro. Be present. Do you know what I mean? I'm telling you. And here's the thing as well, Dan. I, you, you always lead from the front here, bro. You're not. You're not. Um, you, you're not beyond like coming off mute and just 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 butting in and and and, and talking. I love that, dude. Share what happens because your social media following is pretty big on Instagram, right? What do you have? Twenty thousand or something like that. So you got a good following share with the guys do a post in the vip group when you become consistent and persistent because let's be honest you can get a lot better at your social proof you know you can do it and let's see what happens and then share the results with everyone else like, like everyone else i'd love to see like how you how your new take on collecting social proof and doing it getting it done actually happens All just right for now. a bit of perspective as well and value for for the rest of everyone on this call um, you, you and I both know that I did too many call to action posts in a row and my yeah. engagement went down Yeah, and right. I hadn't done that for a long time. And that's what built my audience back up. 
yesterday I did a video just on my on my hair transplant. I got 450 likes. Yeah. And it was about again, people do business with you and they know, like, and trust you. They get into my personal life and it just builds a, a stronger rapport. So when I post the social proof, I'm going to get more engagement from that. It's just what you said, peppering real life content with social proof. And I've actually been working on a content plan to like pepper it in. So yeah. social proof with um, real life stuff. So um, I'm that I'm working on that now. Yeah. We, we say, um, we say normally 80, 80, 20 or 90, 10. That's what I do anyway. I'm, you know, I love my kids, but I don't post enough about them, but it is what it is. They pull my hair out like they're pulling Nathan's hair out right now, right? I'm sick of it. Fucking get away from me. Um, so, like, look, it's one it's one of those where, like, you've got to use that content to help boost algorithms so if, you, if you want, but also to share your real, yeah? It's not all about business here, guys. We're human beings, man. Um, and, and, it's that, and it's that simple. So, yeah, no, that's good. I have one question about that. Yeah, if you don't mind. Um, <clears throat> so one thing that typically struggle with my content is the connection aspect strictly because I feel like that takes away from the professionalism of, you know, working with my clients. Um, I hope that makes sense. So I feel like it takes away from them viewing me as an authoritative figure, essentially. Okay. So, so you say that again. So you're, you're thinking that you're taking yourself from an authoritative stance out of the way. What, what do you say that again? <clears throat> so essentially i feel like when i post things that would you know relate me personally to my clients so just a family post or anything like that i typically have a hard time doing strictly because um i feel like that makes me almost less professional and less authoritative if that makes sense because i'm almost opening up to them if that makes sense so think think about it that that there brother that's a very very interesting point that that's an emotional that's a that's a um i'd say without being blunt it's a limiting belief that you have around that that that's what that's all that is dude you're a real person right so so am i do you know what i mean i i don't post my social life on social media hell i, I went and saw my, my 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 soccer team for the first time ever last night and on Friday. I didn't post it. I had amazing seats. I don't need to post that. I post photos of my kids. Why? And I'll be honest with you because they get the best interactions. That's like, I'm sorry. I use my kids. <laughs> they, 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 like, I'm not being, I'm just being honest with you guys. I, I don't feel, like I said to you, I don't like social media. But here's the thing, Jono. Your clients love you, man. So when you share anything about your personal life, I can, you, you'll get more interactions with that, even if you think it's not professional. Remember, it's social media, but what I'm doing with you guys is I'm getting you guys to look at it as business media. Yeah? But there's a balance. Like, well, like I just said there with Dan, it's 90-10, 80-20, 90-10. It's all, it doesn't matter. Don't don't overcomplicate it, guys. I think, like I said before, sometimes at the beginning, it's often overcomplicated. So there's no need. Just post it. I I post stuff sometimes that gets nothing, and I'm like, okay, cool. Just delete. I just delete it. I split test a hell of a lot on social media. I message a lot of you guys sometimes saying, hey, can you just drop a like and a comment on this post? I'm just split split testing some algorithms. I'm testing shit, and just with times of day and performance and how to make it work. And if it works and we get some good data from it, then I can use that. I can pass that on to my clients. If not, I delete it and I know what doesn't work. Just go for it, bro. Like, I, I don't think there's anything that you shouldn't be posting. Just be yourself, be real, share your personal life and that's it. And But most importantly, show your clients results because we are here to grow businesses, right? So yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, all right, any other questions? Otherwise I'm going to wrap it up because I'm about 10 minutes behind now, but we're all good. We good. All right, fam. Easily done. Awesome. Uh, this recording will be uploaded later this afternoon. Much love to all of you guys. And I'll be touching base with Voxer shortly. I have to go to a meeting in the city. And when I've done that, I'll be doing some Voxers. So stay tuned. And that's it. Speak to you all soon.